at the start of Jacques, you just want to clear out everything at the bottom, including the chest and enemies, and then just head up to the platform above and do the same thing. Once you clear everything above, you want to head over to the right side and then just jump down here, making sure to clear out the enemy up top and going back to collect the gem and then getting the rest of the stuff underneath. Eventually you need to make your way over here so you can teleport to this platform getting the chest and then you want to look to the right to that platform over there and the next one so you can get those enemies. At some point you'll want to come back over here setting both of these guys off so the platform will raise for you allowing you to get into this cave here which will hold some gems and a key. After that you can just head back to this area over here right before the boss to unlock the chest. At some point you want to make sure you come back towards the beginning here, hitting him first and then this guy second. What that'll do is raise this one so you can go over here, and hitting the first guy will lower this platform. All you need to do is wait for his time to reset so it can raise, allowing you to glide over here to get the dragon, some gems, and kind of some other hidden stuff. Once you get to the end there, you will then need to glide over here using this and then kind of do a wrap around taking out all the enemies on the way down, but making sure to at some point drop down because there will be some chests and gems down here. After that, come back here hitting this guy. It'll push out this little lever thing on the wall, allowing you to glide over here, taking you to a teleporter over here with some more gems and chests. At that point, all you need to do is head back to the boss, and if you want the skill point, you just need to complete this perfect, not get hit by him. All he does is throw some presents. Really, all you need to do is kind of move forward progressively, wait for him to throw it, and then once he does, just kind of move out of the way. Or you can jump it if you want to get all creative. 